today sessions we are going to learn question number 4 sub question 1 sub question 2 four questions sub question 2 and five sub questions 1 of exercise 8.7 okay i'll explain by solving these questions for this kind of questions uh, first of all first i know what or how to do the integration okay first we have to try to do the integration directly if it is in the simple form or it is applicable of direct integrations formula if it is not applicable the formula directly and second we try to find the simplifications of uh, option whether you can simplify that expressions or not okay if it's not possible to simplify then then second step we have to think about the substitutions okay okay substitutions means there is a two part one is quotients and another one is on answer part is there under the process of differentiation okay if the substitution is possible then we can substitute directly sometimes the substitution is not possible directly sometimes we need to simplify or we need to separate or we need to adjust the numerator denominators okay i just need to adjust otherwise substitute directly okay after adjusting or is not possible substitution then go for the numerator changing formula if possible if that is not possible then there is a numerator is quadratic form then always try to convert it into the complete square form okay complete square form uh, to simplify or to get the answer because there is a formula for this kind of equations okay now same thing i am going to explain by solving all these three sum okay now let me start now uh, there is a ex is there that means at the numerator ex is there differentiation of ex is ex that means we can substitute ex as okay by ex because the differentiation of ex is ex we go going to substitute like sa sin let's uh, write the equation into simplest form now i equals to integrations 1 divided by uh, 2 it will be power x is equal okay x into 2 is 2x then plus 3 to the power x plus 5 then it will be power x because differentiation of it to the power x is it to the power x now let's put put it to the power x is equals to t it to the power x equal to t then differentiation with respect to x the differentiation of it to the power x is to the power x differentiation of t with respect to x is dt by dx let's take this dx to our left that means it to the power x dx is equal to dt that means it to the power x dx can be replaced by dt now quotient change in t variable Uh, e to the power x dx e to the power x dx means dt dt by 2 e to the power x means t square is there t square plus 3t plus 5 okay now this is the purely quadratic there is no variable at the numerator if there is no any variable at the numerator there is a quadratic uh, equation at the numerator means just you need to convert this into completing square form okay now let's convert this one okay let me do the form uh 2 t square plus 3 t plus 5 we will not how to convert into completing we are not in the previous sessions okay and that's why i am not going to do, go deeply how to convert the quality equation into completing form if you have some problem please just check the previous session now i am going to take two common because the always we need the a square because two is the non the square of any number otherwise you can put a tick the two square of square square root of two but it's better to take out of the expression form okay now t square plus divide taking common means divide by the same number or same term divide to t plus point by now let's convert t square plus we need the power of 2 according to the formula 
Okay, same thing we discussed in the last session according to formula we need to do, that's why we are putting from our side. And then after that, what we need? A is T, B is how much? How to get the B you already know. Okay. And uh, after getting the B, how to get the B? This between this term there is a 2AB. Okay. Just like 2AB equals to 3 by 2 T. That means A is almost T, that means 2T T, B equals to 3 by 2T. Then this goes down, then B equals to 3T by 4T. T, T cancel that B value of B is 3 by 4. That means 3 by 4. Otherwise you can do directly from here also because 2 1 2, 2 2 are 4. Then after cancellations, 3 by 2T, we have to get the same expressions. Okay, from there only we need to separate 2 AB. And after separating uh, B, what we need? B square, that means B square means 3 by 4 e square. We are putting from our pocket, that means that's why subtract same term to make it 0. 0 we can add to any expression, that means minus 3 by 4 e square to make it 0. Then what is left from here? Plus 5 by 2. Now to here is the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square that means 2 uh, a plus b whole square and plus 5 by 2 minus 9 by 16 so it is a 9 9 by 16 now let's do the LCM then 2 is t plus 3 by 4 whole square the LCM is almost 10 that means 1 by 16. Okay, now we convert it into square form. Now replace it by another expression quantity square form expression. Now this is equals to dt. Now 2 we are taking common, we can write all of the integrations. Then what is there? t plus 3 by 4 whole square, then 1 by 16 is there. That means we can write 1 by 4 whole square. Then what is the formula? Uh, 1 divided by a, x square, variable square, x square plus constant a square, x square plus a square means uh, according to formula, this is according to formula, I write the formula here, integration uh, dx divided by x square plus a square means 1 by a, 10 inverse x by a, okay, this is the formula. That means 1 by a in place of a, what is there? 1 divided by 1 by 4. Then, take inverse x by a, x means this term, t plus 3 by 4, divided by a, 1 by 4. That is close plus c. Now, 2 1 by 2 plus 4, this 2 goes at the numerator, that means i equals to 2, t inverse. Now let's do the LCM. This is 4t plus 3. Okay. Now to get the final expression, we replace t by its original variable. Original variable is e to the power x or x variable. 2 t inverse 4 e to the power x plus 3 plus in this way you have to simplify and get the integrations. Okay, now next questions. Before that, let me drop the code. This is question number four sub question. Okay, next question is question number four sub question. To just check your textbook. Now, direct simplification is not possible. This question is given in uh, trigonometric expression. That's why we try to do the substitution method is possible or not. Okay. Let me write in the simplest form first. Cos x dx. Cos x is the differentiation of sin x. That means if there is numerical sin x, then we can put that sin x equals to t. And 6 plus 4 
diffusion of sinus is cos x. But what is that? Cos x square is there. Can you can, can convert this cos x square into sine? Yes, because cos x square equals to 1 minus sine square. That means minus 1 minus sine square x. Now, differentiation of sine is cos. That's why we are going to substitute sine equals to t. Put sine x equals to t. Then, differentiation of sine x is cos x. Differentiation of t with respect to x is dt by dx. Now, let's take this dx towards left. That means cos x dx is equal to dt. Then i equals to cos x dx means dt. Then divided by 6 plus 4t sine means t. Then minus minus plus minus 1 minus minus plus sine means t square. Now let's simplify the terms dt divided by t square plus 4t plus 5. Now convert into e square, convert into e square form. Okay, let's do it here. t square plus 4t plus 5. t square plus, according to formula, we need 2. Then a is t. And 4 is there, that means 2 to the 4, b is 2. Then plus 2 e square minus 2 e square plus 5. Now this is the formula. We already discussed how to convert quantity into in, in completing square form. If you have some problem, please see the previous session video. Okay, now this is a plus b whole square plus 5 minus 4 or t plus 2 square plus 1. Now it's converted. Now d t divided by this is t plus 2 whole square plus 1. This is the same like previous questions. This is a 10 inverse formula. And that means this is 1 by a, 1 by 1, 10 inverse t plus 2 divided by 1 plus c. Now substitute the value of t there. That means i equals to, uh, sorry, i equals to, then cos t plus 2 is there, t means t means sin x sin x plus 2 plus ok, this is very simple after getting the concept and for this to get the concept it requires regular practice ok now last question is there for today's sessions so that let me run the board Okay, last questions. Five sub question one. I equals to integration dx dx y under root to x minus x square. Again, we need to convert into complete square form. Okay. Okay, let me convert here. Otherwise, we can do here also. Two uh, x minus x square. Okay. Always make square term positive. That means we are going to take minus as common. X square minus two x. Now this is minus x square, we got the a square, then minus 2, we put the 2 from our side, then after 2 what we need, a, then middle term, this is the middle term, that means this contains 2ab, uh, 2 multiply x, 2x is already there, then 2 multiply x, how much is 2x, that means 1, plus 1 square minus 1 square, we need the b square, that's why we subtract the same term to make it 0, ok? Now this is x square, my, ok, now this is converted into formula, a square minus 2ab plus b square is converted into formula, that means a minus b whole square, outside minus is there, then this is of the formula one is left minus 1. Now take this minus and multiply to both the term. First write the positive term minus minus plus. Okay. Now this is 1 minus x minus 1 square. 
Now our questions change into completely square form. That is dx divided by under root 1 square minus x minus 1 square. Then what is the formula for this one? Okay, I write the formula here. dx divided by under root uh, a square minus x square is equal to formula is sine inverse x by a plus c. That means the answer for this one is sine inverse x. This is the x by k plus c or i equals to sine inverse x minus 1 plus c. Okay, this way we have to do the integration of partial fractions. Okay, now there are many questions in your textbook. Please, after doing this video, please try to solve the other questions from your textbook because if you solve all questions on this board it takes a lot of time that's why i'm choosing the questions from the group exercise after going through this video or this example just try to solve all the questions okay i already said first try to do directly if not possible then simplify okay not possible then substitutions direct substitution is not possible then some adjustment or simplification then a substitution again is not possible then use the numerating change in the formula okay all the type of questions we already done please check the uh, previous sessions videos okay thank you for watching we'll meet in next video till then take care and stay at home stay safe and practice regularly